Nuh uh now come on, Miss Pearly. I know somebody who like it, bitch. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because yes. I run my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. Wayne Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit, high huh? day, a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches. in my demons, yeah, I'm queen. Now, while I sip my libation, allow me to tell y'all, welcome back to another hat video, amen? Amen. Watch me whip this moose pussy into shape, hallelujah, with one of these. Now, don't be acting funny like y'all ain't used to wear these. Back in the day. A lot of y'all done got too big for your own britches, amen? Too bougie with these new bundles and all that other stuff. Do not sleep on the half wig. And if you've been hitting snooze, wake up! All right, the half wig done got you through some clutch times. Amen. <laughs> Don't play. Now, of course, y'all already know I got to swoop and swap this hair up. Y'all are going to see me swoop and swap my edges a million and one times. Why? Because they are thin. Amen. Okay, that's how I do my hair. You ain't got to do your own that way. This is just to give you an idea of something you could do with this little half wig. Okay? Because half wigs used to be my jam, especially in this little story time that I'm finna give y'all. Okay? So, child, this one is right around the time that I learned how to drive, baby. Okay? I ain't had no license yet, but did I know how to drive? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Why? because Grand Theft Auto was out, all kind of other racing games, so I figured I had it down pat, you understand me? So, baby, I decided one day, because my mama used to work at the school across the street from the house, and me and her had talked about this on the Dear Mama video, and baby, if you ain't seen that, you need to, okay? Take a gander. Get to know moms with me, okay? So, anyway. So some of my friends is getting together for some back talking bullshit and, and they decide to call me. Natalie, you ought to come kick it with us. Me being the crash ass dummy that I was, knowing that my mama's car is outside, along with her valet key being in the drawer where she thought I didn't know where it was, but I knew where it was because one day she said, Natalie, go downstairs and warm up the car before we get ready to go. So now I know where your valet key is at, okay? So me knowing, I'm a pretty safe driver, okay? I don't ever get in no accidents on the game. I don't ever wreck shit, no nothing like that. I don't ever bump into nothing. I'm all right, okay? And let me explain to you, first of all, how I learned how to drive. I had a friend, Robert. Robert took me on the Las Vegas Freeway. Robert took me on the Las Vegas freeway, the I-15 to be exact, in the middle of rush hour, and he pulled that car over to the shoulder, got out, and said, come back and get me and do not tear my shit up. Baby, that is how I learned how to drive, okay? That is how I learned how to actually physically drive a car, and I think that was my first and last lesson before I just told my mom, girl, I don't know how to drive, Okay. She would let me take the car like going to the corner store. Little shit like that. You know, be right back. Now, let me explain to you the type of car my mama had, child. Okay. Oh, I was getting my Sealy on right there. And then my mouth was white. It always be something when I be trying to do the voiceover. Anyway, child. So, my mama had a purple Plymouth van. Cute picture, just to give them the idea. Baby, we used to call her Miss Grape. Okay, we used to call this van Miss Grape. Now, mind you, I at the time was probably five foot two. Okay, because I'm five foot three and a half. Now, I'm gonna give myself the half because that's my business. All right, I was probably about five foot two at the time, child. So, I got to literally sit in the goddamn speedometer, I got to kiss the gas gauge. Okay, in order to be able to comfortably drive this van that has a step stool. That you got to use to get into the car. Okay, it's attached to the car. So, y'all, please don't think we be coming outside with no little box and no little stool. Okay, follow me here. So, the van has a step stool already. Violation number goddamn one. A, because you do not have the strength that it requires if anything should happen to recover this big-ass van fast. Why? You ain't no driver. Hmm? But my frontal lobe was not developed, amen. Y'all know about the frontal lobe. We had already done talked about the frontal lobe before. My frontal lobe was not developed. So I knew deep down in my mind, because I can get on these Fast and Furious games on PlayStation 1 or 2, and I can tear it down, bitch. I already know. I'm, I'm a pro at this. So, baby, I'm on my goddamn way to the function. I'm on my way, child. Got the music up loud and everything like I'm not driving in a Plymouth van that's deep plum fucking purple amen 
driving in this van, see a pothole. Now, this is before I had any idea about potholes and not to hit them the way that you're supposed to. Hey, all that other shit. Okay? I take the pothole. Boom! Whole ass of the van hits the goddamn ground. But do I care? Absolutely not. Why? Because this ain't my shit. My frontal lobe wasn't developed. Okay? Y'all know don't nobody respect my artistry. Say hey to Mike. All right. All right. They can't hear you, baby. Go ahead on and walk up out of here. So, baby, when I say I takes this goddamn bump, poo, drops the whole ass of the goddamn license plate straight to hell. Okay? I keep riding. Why? I got the music up. I ain't heard shit, no nothing. Get to the function. Functioning, bitch. Mind you, my mama works. At the school, lacrosse the street. For anybody that is aware of the west side, and if you know J Street, okay? If you know where J Street is, if you know where the Jets are, if you know where Villa Capri's are, Villa Capri is where we stay. Those are the projects, darling. Right across the street is Matt Kelly Elementary School, okay? Directly out of the gate. To Slicker than a 12 year old tongue. <laughs> to the point to where my mama didn't even take her car around the corner because she ain't going to be too tired to walk from around the school. Okay? She ain't going to be too tired to walk from around the school to come on through the gate, come up the stairs, and go in the house. I drive to the mailbox. Okay? When I stay in the apartment, I drove to the mailbox. I put my trash on the top of the car. I drove to the garbage can. All right? I wasn't finna do no walking. If I worked right around the corner from the house, I'd have drove right around the corner from the goddamn house. Why? Because that's my business. Okay? That's just, that's how I am. All right? Especially back then, baby. I was lazy. I put the L-A-Z in lazy. You understand me? So, anyhow, I go function. So, you know, you got to show out when you getting ready to pull off because everybody is dispersing at this point. And I got about an hour and a half before my mama get off work. As I'm coming down the street, child, this is why a lot of times nowadays in my in my adulthood, <laughs> I will turn that radio off just to listen to the car. OK, especially the fact that I like cash cars. I do not like having a car. No. So nine times out of 10, you gonna have to fix some on that motherfucker. So you need to know if you need to get an oil change and it's a little bit too early because you hear that little rattle. Little OK, let me go get a little quarter oil and put it in there. You need to know that your timing belt is slipping. All right. You need to know that your transmission is not switching. Y'all not following me here. Amen. You need to know when your transmission is slipping. Do you understand what I'm saying? To, do you understand what I'm saying to you? You need to understand if you low on power stirring fluid. Hmm. Hmm. I was raised by my goddamn granddaddy. You understand me? Sometimes you got to cut that radio off to listen to the car. Baby, I cut that radio off coming down Simmons. And that was right when the RTC was the only thing over there. Wasn't shit else over there but the RTC, the RTC building, huh? That's the bus station. And no, that ain't where you could get on no bus. That was that was the depot. That's where they clean them and everything. They turn them in for the night. It wasn't shit over there but six portables and a little building with a bunch of buses. That's how long ago the shit happened. Baby, when I say I'm coming down Simmons, there's another pothole off to the side of the street. Daga. That's what the car sounded like when I hit that motherfucker. Why? Because since I had left the goddamn function, the rim was outside of the tire. You know, sometimes you don't sit back and just wonder about the will and, and, and the mercy of God. The rim was on the outside of the tire since I was on my way to the function. You want to say, friends, how many of us have them? Who in the fuck in there told me that? You got sparks coming out the bottom of this car when I had to skirt off because you got to show out like you're not in a Plymouth van. Huh? Right here, I'm showing y'all where I tuck my hair. If you got short hair like me, baby, just tuck it up under that wig. You see that? You ain't got to worry about doing no wrap around. You ain't got to worry about pulling from side to side. Tuck that little piece of hair down there, and I promise you, all you be able to see is rubber band, baby. Anyway, back into the story. So when I hear the dagger, I got to get this car to the house. So I took, because when I hit the second bump, I done knocked the tire completely off the motherfucking rim. By completely, I, I mean completely, there is no meat on the rim. You hear what I just said? Let, let me rewind back for those of y'all that, that didn't, that missed the beginning. Bitch, I stole my mama's car with her key. 
while she was at work across the street. What the fuck was I thinking? Huh? That frontal lobe. Baby, when I tell you that frontal lobe is something heavy, I want you to listen to it with your spirit. Sometimes y'all be looking at these kids like, what the fuck? What made you do that? Bitch, that frontal lobe ain't developed the same shit. Made me take Linda Faye. And you know what's crazy? I got ass whoopings. Huh? I got ass whoopings. Religious ass whoopings. I got ass whoopings. I didn't get the talking to. We ain't never did no timeout. I didn't have to do squats in the corner. I ain't do no go to your room. If you got to go to your room, it's in preparance for an ass whooping. So I don't know why I used to test Linda Faye in such a manner. Because this ain't the first time I stole her goddamn car. And the sad part is the second time I got caught, you know what? That may be another story time or I may be able to slide it in here because this video a little lengthy. But I get by West Middle School. Before I notice, the car is not only sparking, but it's smoking too. Baby, I parked that car over there at West Middle School, and I sit there. And immediately, I start crying. Why? Because it has taken me about 15 to 20 minutes to get over here. I have an hour and 15 minutes to get my mama's car fixed or back to that motherfucking house to settle into the ass whooping that I'm finna get. Okay? So, what did I do? I worked. I hustled. I had a savings account, bitch. The last $239 that I had in that savings account. <sighs> First of all, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I cannot call her insurance because I don't know what to do about no insurance. So, baby, I called the tow truck company. Hmm. I called the tow truck company the way I was profusely crying. The man down there, now baby right here, hold on, got to interrupt because I wasn't feeling the hair. I was trying to can, but I really could not at first because like I told y'all in the goddamn vlog, it was too woo at first. And then I did, I'm not used to this curl pattern, but you already know a bitch made it work. So <laughs> shock value, bitch, I already told you. Well, yeah, it worked out. But anyway, back to the story. So this man sees me profusely crying, bitch. Profusely crying bawling my eyes out so he say well what happened i don't have time to talk to you about what happened because now we are down to probably a little over an hour and probably about an hour and five minutes i would say linda faye is at work two minutes away from the house so the first thing she gonna notice when she come through the gate is that this car gone baby we got to go ahead on and get a move on it he said okay i'm not gonna charge you he said and i'm not gonna tell you because that's gonna take more time i'm gonna put a spare on here Hmm. I'm going to put a spare on here. Let me tell you how that the favor of God. Look, glory. Glory. Favor. Everything. If you are listening right now, and look to your neighbor or in your mirror. Look in your hand on your cell phone and say, favor. Hey, 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 When I say that man said, do you have a spare tire? Bitch, I don't know nothing about no spare tire. I don't know where the fuck a spare tire would be. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to get to it. I stole this car, sir. My spirit want to tell him so bad, sir, sir, I stole my mama car. I think he knew. Okay, he looked like somebody's daddy. So I think he knew. I think he knew. Oh, well, wait a minute. Get into me, though. Get into me. Ah, ha, ha, smile. Show teeth. Show teeth. Okay. Now we back to me looking how I be looking, child. And shit, party by motherfucking day. Conservative bitch by night. Mm-hmm. Hood rap by day, classy, sassy by night. Ew. Uh, anyway, back to the story. So he finds the spare tire on the car because this is his job. So he knows by grace of God, my mama had a spare. Bitch, I got two tire shops that I can go to and make it back to the house in enough time. Because by the time he put the spare tire on there, we are now working with about 40 minutes or less. I go to one Mexican place. They do not have my mama's rim. Why? Because I have rolled up the entire fucking street with this fucking rim on the ground. I have drove, driven, drived, drove, drove several miles on this rim. Baby, that rim woe down. You understand me? I go to another tire shop. By the grace of God, they have the same Plymouth in the back, bitch. 
just waiting for absolutely nothing. The owners ain't never came and got it. But what I need on there is that rim. What I need on there is that rim. Sir, how much would you charge me for a new tire and that rim? When I tell you this bastard said, I'm going to charge you $190, mind you. I had to pay the goddamn tow truck man for even coming out there and changing the fucking tire. So I had to overdraft my goddamn account in order to pay this man to take this tire off this Plymouth and give it to me. I put the money in there. So now I get the tire back on. I got 15 minutes to get home, bitch. He puts the tire on. Right here, y'all see me cutting off these scraggly hairs. Do not throw these wigs away all the time. Real quick, they synthetic, baby. This is going to happen. When they cashmere up, you cut it the fuck off. Huh? When they get a little sweater weather, cut it off. Because as you can see, this is actually the same day. This is just nighttime versus daytime because I wanted to be a new bitch. So this is nighttime versus daytime. And that quick, this wig singed the fuck up like that because of the curl pattern, child. It's synthetic. But when I tell you I'm going to get all of my $29.99 the fuck up out of it, y'all may see another video with two more hairstyles with this motherfucker. Don't judge me. You understand me? Just watch the goddamn video. Back into the story. Baby, now I ain't got no gas in the car. I can't make it look like I done been anywhere because I stole the car okay I gets the gas so mind you in order to get the gas what I got to do overdraft my account again bitch overdraft my account again so all in all me attempting to go kick it with a bunch of motherfuckers that probably ain't never Fuck with me in real goddamn life. Cost me about $400. After you get into fees and shit. Huh? $35 a pop. And I done had to overdraw. I done had to bust myself over the goddamn head. Trying to hang out. You know what? I almost got mad again. Hmm. Hmm. Growth. Amen. Growth. And the fucked up part was the rim that they gave me was dirty, right? So I got to clean the goddamn rim. In order for me to clean the rim, I have to clean the whole car. And when my when I tell you I believe my mama has been a secret spy all of my goddamn life. Anything that I do, and now that I done got older, I can see it now. Because whenever Mike do something around here, he be like, how in the fuck do you know I broke that? How in the fuck did you know I did this? How in the fuck did you know? I know my shit. I can tell if it's a glass moving because it's normally 12 glasses right here. Now, this glass is too small because it don't coincide with these other glasses over here. So, a glass done been put here to replace a glass. That glass got to be broke because I done looked in the cabinet. The glass ain't there. The glass ain't in the sink and it ain't in the dish rack. Huh? That's how I know. I know good and goddamn well if I sit something down right here because you ain't going to clean the dust up that done collected around it. I can tell when it done been messed with. I fix that mailbox so I can tell if it be messed with. You understand? I get it now. So, I have to get the car washed now. I get the car wash. I got five minutes. As I see my mama coming out the school, bitch, I'm pulling into the gate. Cuts the car off. Pray to God she don't got nowhere to go. Why? Because the car hot. I've been flown that motherfucker across Las Vegas. Trying to hurry up and get that car back. Bitch, my mama comes upstairs in the house. And she said, well, I appreciate the fact that you washed my car when you stole it. And thank you for putting gas in the motherfucker. I could have died. I could have died a horrible death. But right now, you can live for this hell though. <laughs> y'all know how these stories end real quick. I love y'all. Bye.